In this video, I'm going to do my best to explain the reason why I'm lengthening my four link bars and changing the position of them on my 70 Chevy truck. Last year when I built this, I did a six link. Here's my lift bars with adjustable dog bones. The Watts link. I have an instructional video on my YouTube channel to explain how that works. And here's my issue with the four link bars. When the truck is laid out, you can see the parallel bars are parallel to the ground when it's laid out instead of at right height. I did that to help with traction because I did a six liter swap and I figured that it would help. However, I built in too much and so I get what's called roll steer and too much anti-squat. Let me raise this up. As you can see now, the parallel bars are no longer parallel to the ground and this is what it causes. So besides dry shaft plunge, because the bars are short, I'm going to lengthen them from 23 inches to 32 inches. I'm going to take this bracket and cut it off, bring it down here to the frame and move this compressor, I'm sorry, tank up here and move my E-level arm so that it all stays in the correct geometry. So with anti-squat, the bars are like this, so when the truck accelerates, it pushes up on the frame, which plants the tires down to the ground and gives you traction. What you get in return is the frame, when I'm going into a, say a left turn, and the body leans to the right, it's taking this bracket and pushing it up, which pulls the wheel center forward. And on the other side, the bracket goes down, which takes that wheel and pushes it back. So when I go into a corner and the frame leans this way, this wheel comes forward, the other tire on the right side goes to the back, which gives me oversteer. So when I'm going into a corner and I turn the wheel slightly to the left and the wheels turn a little bit this way, it turns harder left and vice versa. When I go to the right, this part leans down, pushes the wheel back and makes the truck turn harder to the right than what it should. When the bars sit parallel, like this at right height, when the frame twists, if this one comes down, it pulls the same amount as this one coming up because it's parallel to the frame, parallel to the ground. So that's why I'm going to cut those bars and lengthen them, move it down, move some stuff around. It will not affect my six link bars at all. And hopefully the truck will corner better and I'll have less anti-squat, which means that the tires will then go up and smoke even more than they do. So I will have to remedy that later.